Okay, uh, first and foremost, uh, Jason Wise is a, uh, I guess, the archetypal hero. You know, he uh, epitomizes all that is positive, all that is good in, um, in black males and, and black folks in general. Uh, the creativity, the, uh, the brilliance that we've shown down through history. And I wanted to exemplify that in one, one character who has, who has made this uh, epic march um, from the beginning of time you know, down to the present. So he is an immortal character who has, uh, who has pretty much seen it all, done it all, and, and used the, uh, the wisdom and the knowledge that he's gathered from his journey to, uh, to, to basically uh, preserve the knowledge uh, to preserve the wisdom of ancient Africa and kind of apply that in the modern world and basically everywhere he walks. So, so tell us why why you created uh, Jason Wise. Uh, well, I have three three young boys, um, four, six, and soon to be nine. So that was my uh, I guess my initial inspiration was, was creating something to fill the void that I felt uh, in seeing some of the stuff that that, that they kind of worship the the characters and the uh, the stories and the TV shows that they have out now, mm -hmm. which kind of don't really uh, address our needs, the needs of our children. Uh, a, a lot of junk that comes on the airwaves. So I wanted to to create a hero that that kind of spoke to the, the qualities and the values and, and things of that nature, the history, the culture, uh, just that, that our children need to hear. So uh, it, it started off as bedtime stories late at night and they wanted to hear more. So I actually had to, to develop this backstory and then develop a more intricate story about this character who, who they loved and, and wanted to hear about all the time. So in just doing that, I just kept on compiling and, and compiling and just uh, and created the, the legend of Jason Wise. <clears throat> when you say um, a lot of junk that was on the air, can, can you be more specific? Like what, what kinds of things specifically were you trying to address by creating Jason Wise? Well, first and foremost, I wanted them to see themselves because a lot of the shows that they like, the, uh, the Batmans, the Spider-Mans, uh, the, the Ben Tens, Bakugans, all these, these cartoons, are there. they're entertaining, but, but you really don't see yourself. You, know, you don't see yourself in the driver's seat, and it, it doesn't speak to them. You know, it speaks to certain things, but, but not the things that we as parents want to instill in, in, in our children, specifically the young men. So um, I, I just felt there was a void that needed to be filled. And as a as a father, I, I was the one who had to fill it, and I, and I can't get mad at the uh, at the networks for not for not putting that stuff out there. So that's my responsibility. So I had to to actually create it. Uh, talk some more about Jason Wise. What is his origin story? What kind of character is he? You know, like superpowers, um, special characteristics, things like that. Okay. Well, basically, he is a, a true immortal, which means he cannot be killed. He cannot be destroyed. He can feel pain, and, and sometimes uh, the being in, an immortal is not necessarily a great gift, because uh, you know being immortal allows you to to have that finite life. You have a certain amount of pain in your life, and you're released from it to to have that rest. He doesn't have that, so he experiences the pain of, of a normal person, but magnified by a hundred, a thousand, you know, because he's that immortal. Uh, his, his truest power is, is really not a power, something that we all have. It's the power of, I call it, ultimate potential. He can achieve anything that he wants if he believes that he can do it. So if he sets his mind to doing something and truly believes in himself, studies, works hard, and he's able to achieve that. He just has that ultimate confidence in, in traveling down from, from ancient times, uh, from the, the land of Cush, which is, of course, the first nation on record. Uh, he is a, the, the last son of Cush. So he uh, you know, travels down and, and also... Uh, also, to add that he is a, uh, I could call him the anti-Tomb Raider or the anti-Indiana Jones, whereas they're coming in and, and, and traveling to dis distant lands and, and foreign places and, and taking pieces of the culture out to museums or what have you. He's kind of going in the opposite direction. He's the one who, uh, uh, who will go into the museum and, and break in sometimes and, and take those pieces back and return them to where they are, you know, where, where they're supposed to be, the, the pieces of our heritage that have been scattered and taken out. So uh, that was a, a big thing in, in the genesis of that, too. Okay. Uh, this is basically, uh, it's called Walk a Mile in My Shoes, and it's by the, uh, the artist uh, Stanley Weaver, who's a, a dynamic brother down in uh, Florida who's putting in good work, uh, painted by uh, Machindo Kumba. So uh, it, it basically dictates um, the walk of Jason Wise. You have uh, the central character, which is Jason Wise. Actually, all the, the folks around are, are Jason uh, you have uh, him in ancient Africa and his walk uh, on the continent. You have him in the, uh, the slave experience on the, uh, the top right, you know, uh, running away, running to freedom. Uh, you have him as a, a Tuskegee airman showing our valor in battle, 
also on the, uh, the, the left middle you have uh, him as a, a Union soldier in the Civil War. And these are stories, once again, that, that we don't really hear about, you know, our role in the Civil War. We know that we were, we were enslaved, but we don't really talk about how we fought and how we uh, struggled for that freedom. I have him as a uh, contemporary of both Malcolm X and Martin Luther King, showing the, you know, the, the balance, the dynamic. You have the, the nonviolence, and the, at the same point in time, you have the self-defense. So, I mean, it's, it all, it all encompasses him. And in the middle, you have him as that strong, dynamic warrior, uh, just um, the epitome of, of our masculinity and manhood and, and the whole bit. And I think it's just a really uh, tight piece that kind of encompasses all that I'm trying to convey with the other uh, character, with the, uh, the storyline in general. Uh, just that we've, uh, through the different ages, it's, it's always been that same walk, you know, just, just the strength and the, uh, the tenacity and just overcoming odds, no matter what age, no matter what continent we were on. And that's the, the, the point of the character, is that uh, we've been doing this for a long time. All right, this is basically just my workspace and what I look at every day to, uh, to draw inspiration and uh, keep myself focused. And I uh, always want to have, uh, you know, positive images, positive sayings and quotes in my face all the time because I'm sitting at this desk uh, creating so many hours out of the day. So I have, uh, you know, images and pictures of uh, my franchise character, Jason Wise. Now, this is one of the... Uh, I guess the signature pieces, this is one that, that, that I love. If I wanted to show uh, uh, one image that, that enca kind of encapsulated what the character is about, uh, this, this would be one of the first ones I would choose. And it's a uh, painting by uh, Brother Mashindo Kumba. And it just shows uh, Jason making that eternal walk, uh, just um, walking uh, strong. And uh, on the African continent, you see he has the, uh, the evil is always looming behind him in some shape, form, or fashion. But he's uh, walking with a uh, purpose and strength and, and kind of uh, uh, using that knowledge and wisdom as his weapons, uh, in, in addition to the physical weapons, but uh, just always making that walk. Evil is always a few steps behind him. So uh, another piece that uh, is one of my favorites is uh, this piece here, uh, which is by the artist Chris Burrasa, who's up in Canada. And this is um, showing the aspect of Jason Wise as a scholar, uh, archaeologist, explorer, always trying to uncover pieces of our past that have been lost and um, representative of the knowledge that he is always uh, uncovering and trying to, uh, to share as he, as he makes that walk. Over here we have some uh, conceptual uh, re reference photos that I use for some of the other characters. This is a sister uh, uh, African uh, Dahomean warrior uh, by the name of Dasoye, which is a, a novel that I published uh, from the author uh, Charles Saunders, uh, who's a well-known and legendary author out of Canada uh, who writes a uh, brand of fiction we call Sword and Soul uh, as opposed to Sword and Sorcery, uh, which is Conan and Red Sony and that type of thing. We have Sword and Soul, which once again speaks more to us, our experience and our culture. And um, I guess that's it. Um, what about this, this, this cat with the lion? Uh, ah, okay. This is Jason Wise um, as he would have appeared in the ancient, in the, uh, the kingdom of Cush which is once again one of the first, if not the first, uh, kingdoms on record. African kingdom that was uh, originated, centered in, in the Sudan. And we have him in a ceremonial garb with his uh, uh, right-hand man, so to speak, a Petamak, which is the, uh, the giant Nubian lion, which is the, uh, the Kushite god of war. So that's a, uh, a constant companion and ally of Jason Wise, and uh, they run tight together. Let's get as much as we can, man. Okay. You know what I mean? Um, the, uh, the Jason Wise in front of the, the, the car. Okay. This is a uh, promotional piece for a uh, comic and also a, a motion comic that uh, Brother Mashendo Kumba and I are working on, uh, Jason Wise and the Secret of the Rose, which is a, a story that uh, puts Jason Wise in the, in the Alps, in the, uh, the same region where uh, Hannibal the Great uh, fought the Battle of Trebia, the, the infamous Battle of Trebia where he defeated the Romans, outsmarted them. So this uh, puts Jason in that area, and he's uh, on a mission to recover a, uh, a, a lost artifact that's being hidden in a, uh, in a castle uh, called uh, the Rose Garden or Rosetto. So it's a, uh, something that we're excited about, and that should be dropping in the late spring. Um, some of these things, you were talking at first about the sayings. Uh, okay, sure. The, uh, towards the, the bottom, you can drop your uh, laptop down. Maybe? Sure. Okay. You want to talk about any of those? No doubt. I mean, this is something that I that I'm always uh, you know, trying to instill in the boys as well, uh, my sons, and uh, just people in general. If you're not making mistakes, 
uh, you're not working on hard enough problems. So um, always trying to challenge yourself and keep raising that bar, which is something that that is big with me. Always trying to outdo yourself and uh, just keep it going. Um, whatever I can imagine I can do, which is a uh, quote from one of my uh, great inspirations, uh, George Lucas, who is uh, the, the master at uh, kind of pushing that bar and, and bringing in new technology, new ideas, and just, just pushing it forward. Um, Let your hands and feet be your sword and spear. Let your hands and feet be your sword and spear, your quickness, your shield. That's actually a quote from uh, one of the novels that I published with uh, Charles Saunders uh, called Amaro. And that's, uh, that's something that is a theme that's prevalent in uh, Jason Wise as well. Uh, basically, not necessarily de you know, depending on uh, the physical weapons, but everything you need to tackle anything. You know, your hands, your feet, your mind, you know, your heart. You know, that, let that be what carries you. This one below, uh, the, yeah, the Jason Wise with the, the pistol with like a silencer on it, and then the one below that. Okay, this is just a, a, a promotional piece. Uh, it's a, a piece done by the artist Charlie Fab, who's down in North Carolina, and colored by uh, the artist James Mason, or Mace as we know him, uh, who's out of Atlanta. And that, that's the, the special operative uh, version of Jason. He has so many different faces. You know, he's, uh, uh, he g gets down and dirty with the special ops. He's a... Uh, a warrior, a, a teacher, an explorer, but this is one that people, uh, you know, kind of gravitate towards too. That James Bond, that slick with the technology and the the ultra, ultra cool weapons and gadgets. So, uh, just, and this is just uh, encapsulating the stuff that I love growing up. You know, James Bond, Indiana Jones, um, you know, Sherlock Holmes, and these characters that uh, you know weren't really geared towards us. But now, as a as I, I'm an adult and a creator, I have a chance to uh, take some of that coolness that I like growing up and kind of spin it to something that is tailored towards us. This right here, um, this is a, a promotional piece for a, uh, a mini comic uh, done with uh, Charlie Fab and Machindo called Jason Wise and the Eye of the Storm that pits uh, Jason Wise and his arch nemesis Fatima, who is a, uh, the number one uh, operative of the uh, it's a Thieves Guild, the, the, the International Thieves Guild called the Sons of Hermes. And it uh, pits Jason Wise against Fat Fatima or Fatima uh, who are both in pursuit of the uh, the largest cut diamond in the world, which is the Iron Storm Diamond. Uh, the opening is at the uh, the New York Metropolitan Museum, and they're both there to steal it. So we have the interplay between those characters. So say uh, a cool, cool, slick little story.